Yo, what is up guys, it's really Spitter, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this build right here. We're only going to show you how to build the house, and we're going to show you how to do the outside. But for example, uh, this is kind of locked off, and as you can see, it's a really spooky place. It's got loads of, you know, it's like an abandoned little farm area. Uh, it could be like a gravekeeper's house if you want to have some gravestones and things around here. It's really up to you what you want to do with it. But it's just this little creepy house. Uh, you can kind of walk in, come underneath here, and uh, I'll show you around the inside. So inside... Just got some barrels, some pots, saplings on top, storage barrels at the top with trapdoors underneath to look like shelving, uh, chain with lantern, a uh, little seating area, furnace, um, sink to wash your hands and things, bookshelf, chest, more storage, uh, brewing stand, mushrooms, and a ladder that heads upstairs through this trapdoor. Then we got pot, bamboo, leaves on top, uh, chest, bookshelf, lantern, little small things here, little sofa there. Uh, next to all this kind of storage boxes I'm going to put away. Table, two beds there so you can play with a friend. Yeah, it's really up to you how you design the inside. And also we got a mixture of spruce planks and upside down uh, barrels for the floor as well as carpet in here as well. Um, so yeah, just a little show around the inside. And obviously on the outside we've got different decorations as pumpkins with sea pickles on top. Uh, some jack-o'-lanterns as well. Never what soul sand composters for leaves just really loads of little small things kind of just make this that extra bit creepy um so yeah hopefully you can get some inspiration for this but we'll jump over to the build now and hopefully you guys will follow along so now we're actually going to start building this thing uh, so we're going to start off by creating a seven by seven square and then on each corner you just extend one block here and one block here you'll end up with something looking like this if you copy it exactly and then all you need is a mixture of stone blocks and you can even use dead brain coral block as well if you wish and you'll need dark uh, planks there, dark oak planks, yeah, and dark oak stairs as well. Uh, this will all kind of help get your foundation down for this build. So we're just going to start off by creating an entrance point. So this is where you're going to enter, and you want everything to be four height. Now, as you can see here, I started texturing the first kind of entrance, uh, but for this little bit here, I'm just going to go around with some stone to kind of show you guys where I want everything uh, placed for this build. So we're going to have four here, four here too, and we'll cross over like so. And just cross this over and you obviously you can choose where you want your windows so i'm going to have a window here on this side and then on this side i'm going to have one here you obviously can add them wherever you want i've probably done them different on my other build uh, the one just over there but it's really up to you and then on the back here you can have one there and one here if you wish or you can have some on the front it's really up to you so i'm going to have do you know maybe i have two on the front here like so and then we'll actually just chuck one in the back here like this uh, and then we've got a few little windows here so obviously we will need some glass as well, uh, so I'd recommend just grabbing that just to fill in these windows so you can kind of see what's going on uh, and you get a rough idea. And then obviously you could just go around and just throw in a bunch of different kind of textures and that will help create and make your build just look that much better um, than just having kind of a boring stone wall. Uh, you just always want to texture, like if you've ever watched my channel before, you will know that texturing is an absolute key when building. Uh, it definitely just gives off a huge amount of... Um, detailing and just looks so much better than just having one standard block or just an array of different blocks so trying to expand your palette is something that I'd re always recommend when building uh, so yeah it's really one of those little things that you kind of have to invest into and slowly take your time with it and you'll slowly learn and pick things up as you go along uh, you can use a mixture of stairs in this too if you would like to just you know mix up and give some cracks and things in here make it maybe abandoned a bit more spooky but as you can see here we've got this nice little um square it looks very very basic for now now the main part of the face is actually finished you want to go around the edges here and just add in these little designs so you're going to go around with walls and chiseled stone bricks just throw them in the top bottom corners here and then throw in these little wall designs like so uh, you can use a different mixture of walls if you want you can add in stone brick walls too but just put these in and kind of texture it however you'd like just get it looking nice and cozy giving it really that little spooky kind of you know the evil kind of feeling to it so it looks quite like devilish from this like a bit haunted a bit spooky these little weird sticking up piles that look quite old uh, but from here once we've done that we just want to get the stair block and then just head across the top here like so and then just stick out by one there and then stick out by one here like so and then from here we're going to actually start building the roof design so we're going to go with a uh, a um, plank and then on top of that we'll go with another plank we go a stair like so upside down stair plank on top of that and then from here we go like so stair on top of a uh, plank on top of that as well stair normally 
and then we can connect this middle piece up like so. And then we do the same on this side. So we're going to get a block that comes out to here. Repeat this on the back section here. And then come around to this point here. Place a plank, another plank on top. Then we place a staircase sticking out that way. An upside down case there. Stair, a uh, plank on top of that. Staircase that sticks out this way. Upside down one on here. Plank, stair. Then we're just going to repeat this on the back side and then fill it in with some warped stairs and warped planks and then I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. So now that this is all filled in we have the middle layer of the roof here we're just going to get some dark oak trapdoors and dark oak slabs and do this little kind of design across the top giving us a nice little wavy roof effect here. Then once we've done this you'll see the roof will look complete and it looks exactly like this. Now from here we're just going to grab our four original blocks and we're going to come into here and just start texturing this part here. And we're just going to fill this all the way up like so. And then we can leave a space for a window in here as well if you wish. So we have something like this and then we can go, so we've got two here, I'd go with a, we can add a stair there if you wish, so like on your second block down we can add a stair and then I'm going to add a window into there as well. I'm going to have something like this and then I'll throw that there. I'm going to have a window here. So we're going to get glass again and we're going to put a window in this top section here and then we'll repeat this on this back side over here. So we're just going to grab the blocks once again and decorate this section here. Quickly throw down some different textures as usual. Get it looking nice and fresh and kind of creepy as well using those broken textures. I would also you recommend using some mossy textures for this. Uh, if, is it, if you're definitely going for that spooky kind of creepy look, the mossy textures will fit in great here. But once you've got this little kind of bit here, grab the stair block for example. Uh, I'd go with cobblestone and just normal stone. Um, you can use a different array of stairs if you wish. And then you can just throw in these little bits at the top here. You can even add a stair in there if you wish, just give it a nice little design and then we'll leave the sides for now but we can come back around here and throw these down and we can add this in here too so we get this nice little curved over uh, but from here we will actually be changing this funnily enough um, so what I'm going to do just grab a stair block here uh, and then we're going to place a stair there oh let's get the dark stair here so we're going to place a dark stair there, dark stair there and then we'll get the full block as well just so we can kind of paste this down here like so and like so so we're gonna go one two three four i'd say so we're gonna go one two three and then we could go four four yeah so four we'll have four down like so and then we can go with walls and fences get those dark oak fences again no, we're going, do you know what, we'll actually leave it with this. This will suit better, because so we can do a mixture of this. So get something that looks like this, then just cross it over on this side here. Grab these warped stairs again, and just fill in this middle section, like so. And there we are, we've got this nice little kind of front overhang area right here. And then underneath, you can kind of fill it in if you wish, uh, whatever you like. So you can use whatever you like here, really. I'm just going to fill it in like so, like that. And then obviously we need to put a door on this base too. So we can kind of walk in and out. I'm going to use the spruce door. The spruce door generally looks a lot better than the rest. So we've got a spruce door in there. And then from here we only just need to go around the outsides and kind of just decorate. So we can use things like trap doors. Uh, I'd go with dark and slabs and chains. Uh, lanterns and then some bushes. I'd recommend. So we're going to go with both lanterns, leaves, uh, we can go with pots as well and maybe like a sapling. So we can have some, you know, maybe little hanging chains down here, uh, something like this. And then we could have just little designs that go across here like that. Uh, you can even add in another chain, something like this. And then have this one lowered down. Then we get some more trapdoors, I reckon, the spruce ones. And you can throw in a nice little working area here if you wish, so something like this. And then maybe add composters uh, in here and here. Get some leaves, we get the kind of dying leaves this time. And we put those in there. Uh, maybe if we're adding that, we can just leave that as a basic chain. And then around the back here, we can have something like this. And then we can go with like a pot. 
and the saplings so we can have like a hanging plant there uh, we can have lantern at the top here we need to fill this in with glass but once we've done that we can add a nice little wavy trapdoor effect across here we could do the same here but obviously we've got the front piece in the way there um, and then once you come around here we can add in once more we can get those slabs back out and we can throw down some slabs trapdoors we will need those dark oak trapdoors like so just around this bottom part here and that gives us a nice little bit of detailing we add some bushes and things around here uh, if we want to grass get those trapdoors now so we can get trapdoors we can add something like this and then get some flowers and we throw this on top like so and just try and keep it as spooky as you can really just fill it in with what you want keep it looking spooky and uh, just play around with it enjoy you know creating new things try and find stuff that you haven't really used before if you want to you could add a stair like that as well uh, so you could just play around with things and come up with your own designs just add a few details in here and there and eventually you'll come up with things that you think are cool and uh, yeah it's just a really personal preference a lot of it's just playing around at this point and decorating the outside um, so obviously I need to fill in these parts here as well um, so I'm going to fill that in like this and this come around here do the exact same thing but I could actually have a lantern with a chain on this to side if I want to something like that we can get some grass plot pots in here that we could use I prefer the not using too much dark when decorating the outside um, so if we have some of like this just flowers in there and there obviously decorate the outside uh, with maybe some um, you know change the floor up with course and different things like that try and differentiate the length chain length of the chains on the back as well um, and then you can add whatever you like so once again like I was saying personal preference feel free to do what you like with these things you can play around with anything you want um, yeah it's really up to you how you come around with these designs so um, you can have something completely different to someone else um, and you know it's not a bad thing it's just the way that you know people express their creativity differently and uh, maybe they have better designs so just for the outside feel free to play around and add what you like but as you can see here we pretty much built the whole house and um, the house is done you would need to decorate the inside which if you want me to I can quickly go back over there and uh, if you haven't seen the first part of this video and you skip through to this part and uh, you can quickly have a look at the inside which I created in here so we just got some living space down here barrels up there storage hanging chains a few messy chains and things just looks like it's kind of a creepy place a ladder of a trap that'll take you up here and you've got two living beds table little sofa chair here thing uh, some chests as well so just a quite simple inside but it's really up to you what you want to do with it as you can see here that's how you build the house itself and obviously you can look at the decorations that i used on the outside here so i did stuff differently got more chains and things on this one around the back here is a bit different as well and then obviously we've got barrels and things it's really up to you what you want to do but hopefully i could help you guys and inspire you to create some awesome builds and yeah if you really enjoyed this content all these videos please 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 don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content i also have a discord server so feel free to go into the description and join that if you want to be a little part of our little community that we've got going on over there um, it would be nice to see you around but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all soon peace